Tell me, Godmar, so, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. Oh. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough the will be the day when soldiers like us beasts. are no I'm longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? You've come to the right place, then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Seems we're all branded villains these days, so long as your past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Just a moment. You are the one they call Dragonborn. Yes. Interesting. Tales of your feet in Whiterun have traveled quickly, as has word of your summons from the Greybeards. You can shout, then. No, I'm not interrogating you, or doubting you. As you're well aware, I too have the voice. I once studied at High Hrothgar. Did you know that? It appears we have quite a bit in common. Yes, well, I look forward to seeing what other interests we share. Now, the Greybeards are patient men, but they will not wait forever. You'd best make your way there as soon as your travels allow. Dragonborn. I have a little test for you. The kind men use to measure themselves. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation, built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Really? An ice wraith? You're going to send the Dragonborn out to some piss-useless glacier up north to kill a fucking ice mm. wraith? Just to prove that we aren't no greener than grass. Than I expected. Did you miss that whole fucking Dragonborn thing? It's as much a test of abilities as resolve. Bloody hell, this fuck is getting on my nerves. Alright. Let me ask you something. Why side with the Stormcloaks? Wars have been fought and won for religious freedom, and at least they have the balls to stand up to their Thalmor bastards. I'll give them that. I still think it's idiocy, but you do have a point. Together is the only way we are going to be able to win a war against the Thalmor. I'll support you in whatever you choose to do. It's, uh... Is there a particular reason that you're joining? Is it because of Ulfric? I saw the way he looked at you. Well, sir, the hold of Falkreath is fairly vulnerable and blocks the only road from Cyridian. A good point, Ulfric. You might be unaware of your charms, but the bear of Morkarth is not. I trust that you know what you're doing. And my blade is yours in the war that is to come.
Tell me again why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are Soon, upset. I can they don't all it. support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's women on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves ah, on yes. a silver I've plate. Studied those documents. All Very the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make a king. No, but this one. If it even exists. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the mm. righteousness of our cause. They know more of our plans than I expected. The jagged crown. It heralds back to a time before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people mm -hmm. rose because Anything they loved else? him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. You're certain you found it. When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. It will mm -hmm. be there. They you know see, more of our plans than I You're thought. alive. Not good. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us, a heroine of the people. A true daughter of Skyrim, a Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us. Which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. The oh, think us and all here. As beasts. I'm you're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Your leaf. Having the dragonborn mm. on our side helps These are interesting reports. No? And I have much in common. Get yourself with her. kitted out with what you need. Welcome to the fight. Such as? The dragonborn and I have been gifted with similar power. We've both received summons to train in the halls of High Hrothgar. And our hearts beat with a similar fervor. I believe that we both want the best for Skyrim and her people. This isn't a game, Ulfric. People's lives are at stake. I don't know who you are, but you speak too readily. I know the cost of war. I have held men as they died in my arms, fighting for their right to walk freely on their home soil. I'm not here to argue with you, Ulfric. If the Dragonborn chooses to take part in your war, my blade and life are theirs, and I will fight alongside them. Then there's nothing <coughs> left for us to discuss. You are dismissed. I am not done. Clearly. Does it trouble you that I admired the Dragonborn? No. There is a lot to admire about my companion. Then what is your problem, son? You're a Jarl. You shouldn't be staring so blatantly. <laughs> so, what do you plan on doing while the Dragonborn is off fetching this crown of yours, Ulfric? <coughs> Don't oh. you think that maybe we have better things to do? What with dragons on the rise and all? I have a war to plan, a city to govern, and an army to command. The Dragonborn volunteered to fight for me. I didn't force her to take my oath. In fact, she seemed quite enthusiastic about joining my cause. What the fuck are you implying? Perhaps you should ask your companion. It seems you have quite a bit to... 
discuss. Enough with the games, Ulfric. Just spit it out. If you insist. <laughs> Regarding your comment, the Dragonborn certainly doesn't seem to mind how I conduct myself as Yar. Shut the fuck up! What a fucking self-centered git he is. He's in danger of splitting his skull against my fist if he doesn't hold that gilded tongue of his. Yeah? Why not? That doesn't mean I have to sit here and... Wait! Hang on! Do you have feelings for him? You fucking do, don't you? Tell me then, aren't you the one who always says it's best to talk it out? Dragonborn, I swore I'd fight beside you, under any banner, under any circumstances. And I will, but it will not be because an eagle maniac Soon gave me an admiring gaze. Bloody just the cars and the yards in their pockets. The whole oh, fucking hell, you're right. I'm an idiot. I'm not sure why Talius is wasting his time trying to take Winterhold from us. But if he wants to throw his men away, I'll gladly accept that gift. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? Damn it. What were they doing there? Imperial spies are everywhere, never forget that. I trust you gave them a thrashing. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of Whiterun. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he keeps it, I will bide my time. If he returns it to you, it means war. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. Dragonborn, one more thing before you depart to Whiterun. My claim to the throne is stronger than ever, thanks to you. This crown solidifies our position, and will encourage true sons and daughters of Skyrim to join our cause in droves. It is a major accomplishment, Dovahkiin. We could accomplish a great deal more... together. Who says my flattery is solely political? It is my hope... that you consider this a gesture of my deepest gratitudes, yes. But perhaps it is also a token of my admiration. You intrigue me, little dragon. The very threads of your soul were woven by the Divines. You are the blood of the dragon. Your heart beats with legend and promise, as does mine. This crown upon my brow will prove as much. Our voices, our legend, joined as one would be. Our bond. It is one deeper than the bond between a king and his soldier. Do you deny it? Can you? I've made you no proposition just yet. We've much to accomplish. I merely wanted you to consider the benefits of such an arrangement. The Dragonborn's given you more than enough already, Ulfric. Back off! Ah, uh, yes. I've studied yes, those documents. But not Very everything. Just think about what I've said, little Dover. Do you not hear the hesitation? Or are you just as arrogant and delusional as everyone else sees? I believe I was addressing the Dover King, Kaiden. Watch yourself before mm. you say something you'll regret. These are interesting reports. I believe that I said, back the fuck off. Leave her alone, or you'll have me to answer to. Threatening the High King in his own castle. I should have your tongue. Or worse. Threat? Mm. <laughs> interesting. 
How's this for a threat, eh? I wouldn't give a fuck if you're a beggar on the street or the Emperor of Tamriel. Leave the Dragonborn alone, or I'll shove your own axe so far up your arse that your shouts will taste like steel. You are fortunate for the company you keep. If it weren't for your companion, my authority would mean quite a bit more to you right now. Get out of my palace. Galmar, what are your thoughts on the Dragonborn? Well, they're a little crazy. <laughs> but I like that. Good warrior. Can I come to the wedding? <sighs> Could use a Anybody good party. Know know that that much. Much. So what are you really I'm asking? Well, there's been talk amongst the people that someone wielding such power could pose a threat to my position. That I might challenge them like I did Torek. Oh. Already some see me as bloodthirsty, my motives selfish. I don't want to appear weak, not to the people and especially not to the Dragonborn. What do you think of the situation? Oh, I don't believe those rumors, my friend. Besides, who would ever want to harm such beauty? Ah. Read between the lines, I see. Hmm. Are you poking fun, Galmar? Ah, it's a good ending to some damn story you're after. But, Ulfric, this won't be easy. We're stretched thin as it is with the war. Is there really time to spend on this? There are some political advantages to courting a dragon, don't you think? Apart, we are strong. Together, we would be unstoppable. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> well, it was anger that brought each of us here. But it is love that keeps Soon, us fighting. I can almost uh, One lives for the things he is willing to die for. Poetic. Glad to see you are so amused. Thank you for supporting me in this. Ah, don't screw this <clears throat> up. The nerve of that bloated fucker. Wait, a dragon's tongue? A fucking course. Why the fuck would you accept it? And why not? He's just toying with you! With me! Faithless Imperials. Every one of them. Everything is a game to him, Dragonborn. This is no exception. He doesn't care about you. Not like... <sighs> just never mind. It's nothing. So, Dragonborn, I have to ask, how loud does it get when you and Ulfric, you know? I just wanted to say, I don't believe all those rumors about you and Ulfric. I've got your back. Be careful, Dragonborn. That's an awfully big fish you've caught. Might be more trouble than it's worth. Can I come to the wedding? Could use a good party after all this bloodshed. Is that who Mr. Ulfric is going to marry? What, what are you talking about, little lady? I heard people talking in the market about it. Oh, no, no, they're not getting married. No more! And you I tell yield, anyone I who yield. spreads that rumor the same, yeah? <laughs> not so keen on the idea of you and Ulfric. All these rumors. I thought better of you, Dragonborn. You and Ulfric, huh? How's that for a story? Ulfric caught himself a dragon, eh? Divines bless him. <laughs> May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did he now? The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. 
pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irileth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the wow, back. Wow, mister. Is all you could I bet you give great piggyback rides. He was rather rides. straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. Talius has camps in the Pale. Entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. Then I was wrong about him. You're right, Galmar. Again? I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric, whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of many? No, but neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. <coughs> And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old. But they still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself. But I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet. If you would only ask me to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it, too. All right. This is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over Whiterun. Aye, and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in Whiterun. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Fight well or die well. Talos be with you. Little dragon, I may want you at the front lines, but I also want you to promise you'll be cautious. I need you to come back to me. That's an order. By the lines, can we get a fucking move on already? They say that our cause is false, and that we are nothing more than thieves, thugs, and murderers. But no! We are farmers! We are craftsmen! 
We are sons and daughters of shopkeepers, maidservants, and soldiers. We are the sons and daughters of Skyrim. And we have come this far because our cause is true. Because we fight as one. And because our hearts are bursting with anger. What we do here today, we do for our country. For all the true Nords of Skyrim. Whiterun's walls are tall, but they are old and crumbling, like the Empire whose legion lines them. They barricade to block us, but we'll tear through them and the Imperials behind them. Our objective is the drawbridge. If we can find a way to drop it, the city will be ours. Everyone on me! Let's show these Imperial milk drinkers what true Nords look like! Yeah! Yeah! It's got to be the Imperials. Hawks on the them. Empire! Did they well, well, oh, 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 Victory or Solomon God! City without raising my own sword. There you are! Oblivion, take you! Hey! Screw you! That's your best! Try and fight back! Are you all with this? I'm not! You don't like it? Well then, fuck off! Enough! That's enough. I surrender. I surrender. Peace! Everyone stand down. That's an order. Stand no. down! Balgrov! Vignar Greyme. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't the dagger in the back have sufficed? You think this is personal? The Empire has place in Skyrim? Not anymore. And you? You have no place in Whiterun anymore! A convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Our blood sustains it. You of all people should know that. If this was my empire, I'd be able to worship whoever I damned well pleased. You wish to see an empire without Talos? Without its soul? We should be fighting those witch elves, not bending knee to them. The emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Skyrim needs a high king who will fight for her. And Whiterun needs a Jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Vignar, was all this worth it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you friend? What about their families? Enough! Both of you! There is a burning city out there that needs a government! He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. Hear me, you old fool? This isn't over. And you, the Stormcloak. I thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. We've driven the Imperials out of Whiterun. This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For the thick blood of our land has seeped into your heart. Here, take this. It's an Imperial Officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our enemy. I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Falkreath. Galmar will have special tasks for you. 
and we'll need you when we liberate the capital. You'll be doing whatever Garmar tells you to do, and causing as much mayhem as possible for the Empire and any Jarl who supports them. For Skyrim! This battle was a load of bullshit, you know that? I don't recall appointing you advisor. Leave the talking to the Dovahkiin and myself. By the gods, will somebody shut this wanker up? Little Dova, be careful if you're heading up north. It gets quite cold. Oh, God. Something on your mind, Kaiden? I'm in no mood for this fucking shit today. I'm proud we liberated Falkreath from the Empire. In many ways, it's the heart and soul of Skyrim. Not to mention, it's rather a strategic position. Some brothers have taken to calling you Bonebreaker. Evidence of your ferocity and determination. A fitting name. So, we shall all call you thus. The war demands so much from us. And we give all we have to it and to the people. But I've kept a little something to offer you in appreciation. Please take this on behalf of all the brothers and sisters. And I need capable and loyal warriors close at hand. So I'd like to offer you a home in Wenhelm. Speak with my steward, who made the arrangements. Get over to our camp in the Reach. They need every able body they can muster. Talos guide you. Now that the Empire has been driven from the Reach, we can put a stop to the raping of her silver mines. That silver belongs in Skyrim. Multitudes of our enemies are buried in an avalanche of pain and retribution, delivered by your hands. I shall call you Snowhammer now. You show great passion for battle, and compassion for those we fight for. You are becoming indispensable to our cause. We do what we do out of love for our brothers and sisters. Here, take this as a token of such love reciprocated. You're needed in Hyal March. There's much to be done. Talos guide you. Well, I hope you're satisfied putting the Dragonborn in danger once again. The Dovahkiin makes her own decisions. She is free to turn down any mission. Fuck is he seen? I know as well as anyone, a dragon cannot be tamed, Kaiden. You'd do well to remember that. Finding her wings, well, that wouldn't bode well for anyone. Fuck off, you wanker! Talk fucker if you ask me. I didn't ask you. And once again, I must remind you not to say something you'll regret. Today is an absolute fucking joke. Talius must be getting nervous. Taking Hellmarch, we're practically in his backyard now. As soon as we're able, we'll march on Solitude. You've become a true hero of Skyrim. I number you among my kin. You shall now be known as Stormblade. The love of the land and her people flows from your heart. Even as death to her enemies flows from your hands. On behalf of the sons and daughters of Skyrim, on behalf of all that is righteous and true, take this token of our appreciation for your service. You have no time to glory in your accomplishments. We're gathering for our final assault on Solitude. I need you there. Report to our camp in Harfinger. Are you ever going to join us on any of these missions, or do you just plan on sitting on your ass? Soon I will be on the front lines myself. About time. Let's go. In time, that is. And I don't take orders from you, Kaiden. Remember your place. Fuck's sake, this man is useless. We're taking the city. Meet the brothers gathering for the attack. Fight well, or die well. Talos, be with you.
This is it, men. It's time to make this city ours. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifices and courage of our fellows. Those who have fallen, those still bearing the shields to our right. On this day, our enemy will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring. And men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for Sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. We now fight our way to Castle Dawa, to cut the head off the Legion itself. And in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be, full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free. Ready now, everyone, with me, for the sons and daughters of Skyrim! Come on! 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 Come Ulfric, stop. Stop what? Taking Skyrim back from those who leave her to rot. You're wrong, Alfred. We need the Empire. Without it, Skyrim will surely fall to the Dominion. You... The Empire is weak, obsolete. Look at how far we've come with so little. When we're done rooting out the Imperial influence here at home, then we will take our walk to the Old Mary Dominion. You're a damn fool. Stand aside, woman. We've come for the general. He has given up, but I have not. Rekka, go. You're rebels. free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die for. This is what you wanted? Shield brothers and sisters killing each other? Families torn apart? This is the Skyrim you Damn it, wanted? woman, stand aside! That's not the Skyrim I want to live in. Rekka, you don't have to do this. You've left me no choice. Talos, preserve us. But what was you fish should be fine? Kill you! I have the glory of I'll enjoy killing you. I have no problem killing you. How do you feel about dying? You call this a fight? <laughs> Come on! No. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Where's your pride? Oh, God, it's such a pretty shade of... Enough! Enough. This is it for you. Any last words before I send you to oblivion? You realize this is exactly what they wanted. What who wanted? The Thalmor. They stirred up trouble here. Forced us to divert needed resources and throw away good soldiers quelling this rebellion. It's a little more than a rebellion, don't you think? Ah. We aren't the bad guys, you know. Maybe not, but you certainly are the good guys. Perhaps you're right. But then what does that make you? You just said it yourself. It makes us right. And if I surrender... The Empire, I remember, never surrendered. That Empire is dead. And so are you. So be it. Just kill him and let's be done with it already. Come, Galmar. Where's your sense of the dramatic moment? By the gods. If it's a good I'm ending to some damn story or after, after the, the dragonborn should be the one to do it. To
good point. Well, Dragonborn, what do you say? Do you want the honor? As you wish. This moment, we three will be immortalized in song. Good. It's done. Well, I suppose some kind of speech is in order. I'll go gather the men in the courtyard. And Elisif? Don't you worry about her. I sent my best men to round her up. Stormblade, I want you to have my sword, a token of my appreciation. Now then, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you, Dragonborn, and the truest of Stormcloaks. Very good. Come, the people await us. I am indeed Ulfric Stormcloak. And at my side, the woman we know as Stormblade. And the world knows as the Dragonborn. And indeed, there are many that call us heroes. But it is all of you who are the no. true hero. It was you who fought a dying empire, who sunk its claws into our land, trying to drag us down with it. It was you who fought the Thalmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kin who didn't understand our cause, who weren't willing to pay the price for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought for Skyrim, for our right to fight our own battles, to return to our glory and traditions, to determine our own future. And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King. Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders will I accept it. Yes, what about the Lady Alison? Will she put aside her personal hatred for me and her misplaced love for the Emperor and his void so that the suffering of our people will end? Will she acknowledge that it is we Nords who will determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me? so all may know that we are at peace and a new day has dawned. I do. Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. The Old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not that defeated is, Skyrim! How'd I do? Not so bad. Nice touch, my king. Why do I need to go to the two sides of Skyrim? It's a foregone conclusion, you know. Oh, I know. The Imperials are not going to leave us alone. They still have camps in the hills. They'll Enough. continue to strike out at us whenever and wherever they can. I'm not afraid of the remnants of the Legion. In time, they'll all give up and go home. What I fear is that the Thalmor will see our victory here and turn greater attention to our shores. We must be prepared to face them. Aye. And of course, we I've suffered have worse during training. You. May the gods preserve you. May the gods preserve us all. Come, Galmar. We've still much work. Soon we'll read Skyrim of Elves. No, not yet. We'll wait for the moot to name me High King. It'll be better for all that way. But that doesn't mean I won't start acting like it. There's much to do. The new Jarls need help building armies and enforcing their right to rule. The Empire may try to reclaim Skyrim, and I need everyone ready for that. Though the biggest threat, of course, is the Elves. There will be peace for a time, during which we must rebuild Skyrim into the land it once was. Strong, self-reliant, the center of mankind. Because getting rid of the Empire was only half the problem. 
Soon the elves will again seek to rule the world. We must ready ourselves to fight them. For it will be Skyrim that shall lead Tamriel in those dark days, when the fate of the world is finally determined. True sons and daughters of Skyrim reign in every city. We've crippled the Imperial Legion and cut off its head by killing General Talias himself. What more could I ask of you? No, you're free to roam. I suspect the gods have needs for you elsewhere. That said, some of the Legion's staunchest men have organized themselves and are operating out of hidden military camps in the wilderness. If you come across any Imperials in the travels, I expect you'll know what to do. Take care. Cotton. Oh, what the fuck is it now? Don't let this one get into too much trouble. I need her in one piece. Whatever.